six boxes of Rambo cereal? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I cannot eat sweaty-looking puffed wheats with little veins in them. <laughs> I know, but they give you double game pieces with each box. Oh, well, that's different. <laughs> you know, Susie, we better win this contest soon. I want to get to Hawaii while I can still fit in my bathing suit. <laughs> Look, Jess, we got the third piece of the puzzle all right. Oh, wow. Now all we need is the top half of the pineapple, and it's Aloha Beach Boy. Compliments of your local supermarket. Well, Susie, let's not take hula lessons yet. Our odds of winning are about one in a million. Oh, no, no, no. They're much better than that. Look, right here it says chances of winning first prize are one in 250,000. Oh, well, in that case, I better go pack. Whoa. Wow, oh, I haven't seen this much food since Brad Fleischman's bar mitzvah. What, what's the occasion? Jessica and I are trying to win the supermarket's trip to Paradise Giveaway. Mm. The more groceries you buy, the more game pieces you get to try and fill in the pineapple. Oh, no, not again. Six months ago, you were trying to fill in a bagel to win a free trip to Miami. <laughs> Cindy, look at all these raw materials. I've got the urge. Are you up for it? You're not thinking what I think you're thinking. Of course, a Robbie Stewart special. Would you care to assist? I'd be honored. Jess, what's going on? This feels like an Olympic number 47. Turkey. There you go. Jeez. <laughs> Pickles. Tandy chips. Napkin. <laughs> Special sauce. Oh, McDonald's, eat your heart out. <laughs> Nice. Looking good. Was the operation a success? Of course. And now we get to eat the patient. <laughs> Susan, we've got to try some of this. Oh, come on, Jess. A sandwich is just a sandwich. Yeah, but a number 47 could change your life. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know, Robbie, I've known you for 16 years. And up until now, the only thing you ever did well was get a tan. <laughs> Hey, Rob, when is Jessica coming back? I want to talk to her about something. Oh, yeah? About what? Well, I figure while Uncle Lucas is on vacation, I try and make some extra money at the bait store. Oh. Uh, you know, kind of impress him. Show him that I'm not just another pretty face. <laughs> gotcha. Jessica and Susie went to buy more groceries. You know, we've got enough food we could feed the entire boardwalk. <laughs> hey, you know something, Cindy? You just gave me a great idea. I bet I could make a fortune selling sandwiches to the guys who go out fishing. Right. And you could have Robbie make your sandwiches for you. Robbie make sandwiches? Well, oh, Lenny, it's like this. You want a car, you get a Rolls Royce. You want a boat, you get the Queen Mary. You want a sandwich, you get me. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want a bologna sandwich. Lenny, it's true. Robbie's sandwiches are great. And you could taste for yourself. There's some leftovers upstairs. Right yeah. Back. Rob, I'll believe it when I taste it. Give me a fizz float, would you, Rob? Oh, sure, Sandy. A fizz float? Yeah, two alka seltzers and a glass of water. Coming right up. My stomach feels like a pork rind. <laughs> Every day, the guys at the station send out for that grease at the chili bowl. It's killing me. Ooh. Ooh. Onions. Hey, Sandy, don't bother yelling, stop police. Nobody will. <laughs> Oh, no, more groceries. It's double game piece day. Come on. You guys really think you're going to win that contest? <laughs> Sandy, never underestimate the power of positive thinking. Knife. 
think we can. I 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 think we can. Great. A red-headed engine in a blonde caboose. Oh, wow, an Olympic 47. I once had a 47 back in 82. Oh, is that an 82 and 47? <laughs> oh, no. I think I just forgot my lacquer combination. <laughs> yeah, try it. Yeah. How is it? Let me put it this way, Robbie. Will you marry me? <laughs> oh, I knew you'd like it. Robbie, what about me and you going into business? You make them, I'll sell them. We'll split the profits right down the middle, 60-40. Uh, come on, Lenny. What do you think? I got coleslaw for brains. Okay, 50-50. Wait a minute. Cut me in two. I could sell a lot of these down at the police station. How much would we charge? Uh, I don't know. Four? Five-fifty. That's less than we're paying now for Alka-Seltzer. <laughs> okay. All right, then. That's what we'll do. Uh, Lenny and Sandy, you guys will provide the retail outlets. Cindy, you can assist the master chef. And we're in business. Agreed? For 10%. Yes. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> Agreed? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, what a week. You know, my two biggest dreams have come true. I'm making tons of money, and Friday night I've got a date with Monica Dugan. <laughs> you have a date with Monica Dugan? That's right. Isn't she the head cheerleader? Yep. But she only goes out with football stars. Oh, well, she's going out with me. So what does that tell you? That she's been tackled once too often. <laughs> hey, Cindy, for your information, Monica happens to be crazy about me. Sounds like she's crazy, period. <laughs> Cindy? <laughs> I'd like to use this as a Q-tip. How would you like to use it as a tongue depressor? Hey, 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 we don't have time for worker unrest here. Oh, management was just about to solve the problem. <laughs> Robbie, don't hit your sister over the head with a French braid. Here, use the rye. It doesn't leave marks. <laughs> Just drop by to give you today's receipts. Hey, all right. My share comes to 30 bucks. Yep. You know, Friday night, I'm going to spend this all on Monica. Uh -huh. Robbie, I'm really happy that everything's working out for you. But just remember, Saturday's our biggest fishing day of the week. So uh, before you go on your date, just make sure you have my sandwich order completed. Sure, no problem. Uh, how many do you need? Uh, 270. <laughs> 270? Hi. Oh, hi. I don't believe it. This is the first time in two weeks you haven't come back with an armload of groceries. Well, Cindy, they bought the place out. That's all that was left. <laughs> nah, we gave up on the contest. We figured out that we could have bought the island of Maui for what we were spending on groceries. <laughs> so how's the sandwich business going? Oh, great. Well, other than a few scheduling problems, but other than that, it's turned out terrific. Hey, Robbie, feast your greedy little eyes on this. If business keeps going like this, you'll be able to retire at an early age. Ouch. Oh, great. I'll be the only teenager on disability. <laughs> Howdy, partners. Another good day at the station. Here's the day's receipts. Okay. And tomorrow's sandwich order. 200 sandwiches? 200? Say, I'll be working all night. I didn't start a business. I created a monster. Oh, Robbie, stop whining. After all, this was your idea. No, it wasn't. It was yours. You're right. So tough anyways. Come on, Rob. What's the big deal? I'll tell you what. I I'm spending my peak years looking into a mayonnaise jar. Hey, Rob, you are making money. Yeah, but there's no time to spend it. I I'm going to wind up like, like Howard Hughes. Now, he didn't even have time to clip his fingernails. <laughs> Oh, Jessica, about time. Where have you been? At the market, filling out the forms. It's official. We're going to Hawaii. Oh, great, great. As long as you don't need any sandwiches. But come on, Sandy, you got to get to work. Yeah. Congratulations. You two must really be excited. Oh, yeah. It's been one of the most exciting days of our lives. Right, Susie? Hmm? Huh? Ah!
Oh, yeah, sure. Right. They're gonna mail us the tickets. And just think, soon we'll be wearing grass skirts. Ooh! Careful, I hear it's brush fire season over there. Hey, Suze, we're gonna have a blast, aren't we? Oh, uh, well, listen, Jessica, sit down. I have something to tell you. What? I'm not going. You're not going? Are you serious? Why not? I'm afraid to fly. <laughs> but Susie, I don't understand. You just spent half your life savings on groceries. Oh, no. At the time, I didn't really think we'd actually win. <laughs> oh, you'll be okay. We'll go. No, Jess, Jess. <clears throat> Listen, listen, I am really serious. I mean, I like scary movies, aggressive men, demolition derbies, roller coasters, and that's just in one night. But I cannot get on an airplane. I'm sorry. What are you looking at? <laughs> On, you guys, this is ridiculous. Susie, trust me, it'll work. I read a lot about this whole procedure in a magazine. Now, just pretend you're on an airplane. People pay a lot of money for this kind of therapy. And afterwards, they're able to walk right out and get on a plane. Oh, I don't know. Jessica, would you mind moving this along? There's a great movie coming up on Channel 6, and I don't want to miss it. Oh, yeah, what? The Crash of Flight 407. <laughs> You're just kidding. Susie, don't pay any attention. Now, remember, the idea is to take an imaginary little flight and by showing you what it's like, get rid of your fear once and for all. My foot never leaves the ground, right? Right. Now, to start, we'll gain your confidence by me being the pilot. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Why can't I be the pilot? Come on, I'm young, I'm cute, and I've got the jaw for it. But I don't have the stomach for it. Fly me, Jessica. Okay. Uh, Lenny, you can be the air traffic controller. Uh, that's an affirmative, Stuart Airlines Flight 301. Uh, you're clear for takeoff at 1,900 hours. Good. Uh, and Sandy, you can be another passenger. You sit right next to Susie. Sure. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me, miss. Pardon me. It's all right. Oops. I just love the window seats. And Cindy, you can be my co-pilot. Oh, great. Hey, Jess, can't I at least be the co-pilot? Oh, Robbie, I have a more important job for you. Oh. You're the cabin attendant. Cabin attendant? Robbie's a stewardess. Robbie's a stewardess. Hey, cool your jets. Robbie, the cabin attendants are very important. They're the ones that come in most frequent contact with the passengers. Forget it. I quit. Robbie, if I go to Hawaii, you'll have the house to yourself for two whole weeks. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the board flight number 301. Much better. OK, Susie, now you just sit back and relax. Co-pilot, all instruments checked? Yep, we've got a full tank of gas. Would you like me to release the parking brake? <laughs> Roger. Pilot to tower, pilot to tower. Am I cleared for takeoff? Uh, Roger, 301. Uh, you can proceed just as soon as the guy in the aisle sits down. Six. I mean, I mean, would you all kindly fasten your seatbelts? <laughs> Okay, here we go. Engines on. Rattles forward. Hey, look at that. We're so high, everything looks like ants down there. Oh, those are ants, Sandy. And eh, the exterminator forgot to come this week. Sandy, just go with it. Okay, Susie, we've now leveled off at 30,000 feet and are cruising smoothly above the clouds. How do you feel so far? Actually, not too bad. In fact, pretty good. Maybe this was a good idea. Uh, excuse me? We're about to serve lunch. Would y'all like the Olympic number 47 sandwich or our Louisiana chili? Chili? 
I don't think I feel too good. Oh no, we've lost power! Ah! Sandy, cut it out! We're losing altitude! Yeah. Ah! Ah! Sandy, you're not helping. Sit down. Okay, it's okay, it's fixed. Short here, I think. Uh... Send a fire and not a four engine! We're gonna die! Ah! 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 Don't pay ah! attention! Emergency ah! procedure drill, would y'all put your head between your legs and say bye-bye? Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes the cabin pressure. Then that means A would equal Russian dressing. What's going on around here? Why am I not hearing the sound of bacon, lettuce, and tomato being slapped together? Lenny, I have to do my homework. Homework? You do that stuff at home? Oh, Rob, come on, wake up. Mm, more Swiss cheese. What are you doing sleeping? Oh, well, you know me, Lenny. If I don't get my eight minutes a day, I'm a grouch. Yeah, well, your sleep is cutting into my profits. Time is money. Mm -hmm. Here, this will wake you up, hmm? Better than smelling salt. The day's receipts, huh? Oh, profits are up 30%. You bet. Come on. <laughs> and 300 more by tomorrow. Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> Susie, why don't you at least look at the tickets? Please, Jess, I can't. Beautiful beaches, beautiful sunsets, beautiful men. That one wasn't fair. Oh, come on, Susie, you're not being fair either. I told you, take someone else. You know these tickets are non-transferable. We either go together or I don't get to go at all. Hey, Robbie, I've got some bad news for you. And don't tell me, you need another 200 sandwiches. No. According to Article 4, Section 3, subparagraph B of the Municipal Code, any individual engaged in the selling of food for profit must possess a vendor's license. So what are you saying, Sandy? I'm closing you down. We're out of business. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Robbie has a vendor's license for the ice cream parlor. Yeah, but that only works if you're selling ice cream sandwiches. I'm sorry, fellas. Uh, look, uh, don't worry, Robbie. We'll call someone about this. Yeah, I'm gonna call Monica Dugan. Uh, Rob, wait, uh, yeah, I've got another great idea. Hey, Lenny, I'm not getting involved in any more business deals. No, me neither, me neither. Find out if Monica has a sister. <laughs> What's her aunt look like? Yeah, I'm gonna go to my room to study. My teacher's tired of me handing in homework that smells like salami. I'm tired of this house smelling like salami, too. What you need is a couple of weeks in Hawaii. Oh, well, that would be great if... Oh, come on, Susie, quit fooling around. Oh, I'm not fooling around. Beaches, sunsets, guys. You changed your mind about flying? No, I'm still afraid to fly, but I'm not afraid to float. These are cruise tickets. We're going to Hawaii by boat. Oh, Susie, I can't go. Can't go? Why? I get seasick. <laughs> gotcha! is the famous Hawaiian landmark, Diamond Head. Hey, who's the outrageous girl in the bikini? I don't know. <laughs> oh, and this is Pearl Harbor. Whoa, who are the three chicks in a convertible? I don't know. Oh, what a beautiful waterfall. Hmm, that redhead in the background isn't bad either. <laughs> Robbie, will you please show a little respect? This is our vacation, not a peep show. Yeah, Rob. Okay, now here comes the most spectacular sight in all of Hawaii. 
our tour guide, Rick. Nice palm tree. Where? <laughs> I got more mail, Jessica. No one ever writes me. Susie, what about all those hunks on the beach? Jeff, Dave, Kenton, the Tarleton twins? No, oh, they don't know how to write. They just know how to play volleyball. Well, maybe our fans at Rocky Road will write to both of us. Rocky Road, P.O. Box 241, Beverly Hills, California. Ooh, Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. This is a place where it all Okay, that's a black and white ice cream soda, heavy on the chocolate syrup. <laughs> now I know you're from New York. Jessica? Sandy? Pretend we're talking. We are talking. I can't answer any questions, so don't ask me any, okay? Okay. Do you still have that 35 millimeter camera? The one with a telephoto lens? Sure. You want to borrow it? That's a question, Jessica. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, Sandy. Yes, I still have that 35 millimeter camera, the one with the telephoto lens on it. Good. Can I borrow it? <laughs> Official police business. Sure. I appreciate it, Jessica. They stopped making film for my camera years ago. <laughs> Wish I could tell you more. I'll see you later. Bye, Robbie. <laughs> Hi, Lucas. Listen, Sandy, I'm in a lousy mood today, so if you haven't got anything intelligent to say, just shove off. <laughs> uh, Lucas, I 
couldn't help noticing what you're doing. Yeah, the darn lamp won't stay on. Must be a short. Oh. Lucas, why don't you do yourself a favor and call an electrician for that? Call an electrician? Ha! For what he'd charge me, I'd have to take out a mortgage on my second mortgage. <laughs> well, aren't we the testy one today? <laughs> Come on, Jess, it's possible. Robbie, anything is possible. You're a good example of that. <laughs> Robbie's a good example of something? Oh, hi, Susie. Hi. Robbie thinks Sandy's on some kind of mysterious undercover assignment. Really? I'll bet it's with that girl from the bakery. She gave him a free roll the other day. <laughs> no, Susie, this is something much different. There is something sneaky going on around here. I know. She's married. No, Susie, I mean surveillance work. Now, Sandy wanted to borrow Jessica's camera today. He's acting very strange. Where are you going? Oh, just to go see my good buddy Sandy and trick him into telling me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Lucas, have you seen which way Sandy went? What? Have you seen Sandy? Mm. Lucas! Ah, Lucas! Jessica, Susie, get out here! Oh, my gosh. Here, Robbie. Susie is here. He's alive, but you better call the paramedics. Quick! Now, I'm okay. Really? Oh. You don't have to make such a big fuss over me. Lucas, it's quite all right. The doctor wanted us to keep an eye on you. And you just relax, and I'm going to make up the spare bed. Oh, mm -hmm. what a night. Oh, <sighs> I know. It's almost 4 o'clock in the morning. I've never been up this late before. I can't wait to tell Heidi Jensen she'll be so jealous. Cindy, we've just come from a hospital emergency room. It wasn't exactly a social event. Yeah. I still can't believe the red tape they made us go through before they treat you, Lucas. And the undignified way they rolled you over on your stomach just to get to your bank AmeriCard. Yeah. And they weren't real thrilled when they found your pockets sewn shut. <laughs> Now, you two, hospitals have a tough job to do. Besides, there were a lot of people waiting there who were in worse shape than me. Lucas, you know, I'm glad you're so understanding because you owe me 20 bucks for parking. No problem. I'll give you a check. Are you okay, Lucas? <laughs> oh, sure. No, I mean, I've seen you drive three blocks just to find a meter with some time on it. <laughs> Lucas? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, Jess. Were you saying something? Never mind. Ah, I better hit the road. I have got the early shift tomorrow. You get some rest, Lucas. Thanks, Susie. Oh, and Susie. Uh, thanks for being such a good friend. <laughs> <laughs>